sketch by hand the graph of a continuous function f over the interval negative 5, 5. So negative 5 to 5, and that refers to my x-axis, okay? The function f is decreasing on the interval negative 5 to negative 2. Since it's a bracket, it includes negative 5. So I can put it anywhere I want. So how about I put it here? It's a closed circle because it's a bracket. And it says it's decreasing. So I'm going to have to go down. I can put a dot anywhere as long as it's decreasing. But how about I put one here? So here's my decreasing interval. Then it's constant on negative 2 to 2. Well, I don't really have a choice. Since it's constant, it's a straight line, just like that. And increasing from 2 to 5. So anywhere on 5, I can put a dot as long as it's increasing. So how about I put my closed circle dot there. So that's one of my options. Let's do this one again. So I'm decreasing from negative 5 to negative 2. Well, remember, I can put my dot anywhere on negative 5. So how about I put my closed circle, my dot, here? Well, as long as it's decreasing to negative 2, I'm good. So there's decreasing from negative 5 to negative 2. Constant from negative 2 to 2, so I don't really have a choice for that one. And then increasing to 5, so I can make it increase just a little bit. And this is also an answer to this question. So let me show you one more possible answer. Once again, negative 5 to negative 2, so let's say I put my closed circle here. Well, as long as I'm showing that it's decreasing from negative 5 to negative 2, do you see how all of these are possible answers to this question? So I'm going to go from negative 2 to 2. Now this one I don't really have a choice. It's, it's constant, so it's a straight line. And then 2 to 5, mm, let's make it really, really increasing. So any one of these would be a possible answer for this question.